Good, you're here. I need your help. Is this about the worker comp case from Flushing? No, this is about Velocity Data Solutions. What about them? They're a dirty company. They've been getting away with shit for years. I could never go after them when I worked at Pierce Inspector because we were always on the other side of these things, but I can go after them now. Mike, if this is going to require me going to court, It's I... not. Look, Oliver, I know what happened the other day. But you don't have to be a trial lawyer to be a great lawyer. What are you saying? I'm saying that you have skills that other lawyers don't have. And I'm going to put those skills to use right now. What do you need? See those boxes? That's every case that Velocity has settled in the last 20 years where the names of the plaintiffs have been sealed. We need to figure out who those people are, what they got paid not to say, and then we need to get every damn one of them to come forward. Mike, what do these guys do to you? They didn't do anything to me, Oliver. I just don't like it when people think they can get away with anything just because nobody's watching. Hey, I hope you got a hammer, because I just brought you some nails. You found something? Yeah, I did. I already found six cases we can use, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So let's grab our coats and go kick Velocity's ass up and down the street. Easy, Tyson. You have to tell me what kind of suits these are first. They're mining suits, which means health problems or corporate negligence. Either way, the damages could be through the roof. Oliver, this is great. I know, and if you asked me to make an argument about it in court, I'd probably shit the bed. But Mike, I'm telling you, there's something here. And I'm telling you, maybe one day you'll overcome your court stuff, maybe you won't. Either way, this proves that you're a hell of a lawyer. Yeah, thanks, Mike. I gotta admit, it feels pretty good to know I can do what I just did. Then why don't you start drafting a suit? Because after I get these people on board, that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. Hey, Mike, you got a second? Yeah, what's up? I was hoping you could tell me. Apparently, Oliver was in the conference room all day working on some case against Velocity Data. Uh, yeah, I gave him an assignment. Hey, what do you mean you gave him an assignment? He had the workers' comp case. I took care of that. Mike, your job isn't to generate cases. It's to consult on the cases we've already taken. I know that, but it's also to help our associates become better lawyers. Oliver got his ass kicked in court the other day. I'm just helping to build him back up. And there are plenty of other cases you could have used to do that. Instead, you went and you signed a class action, which is something we do not do. Well, why isn't it something we do? These men have life-threatening health problems. They need someone to give a shit about them. It isn't something we do because we don't have the time or the manpower to take on a giant like Velocity. Nathan, I don't know what you want me to say. I went out there, I signed these guys, and they trusted me. I can't back out now. This is the kind of shit you pulled when you were at Pierce Inspector? On occasion. Then I want you to say the next time you think to pull something like this, you have the common courtesy to tell me before you do it. did you do? Relax, Harvey. I was just coming to tell you. No, I specifically said that I can't be seen to be involved in this thing. And you also said we only had one shot at this. I was the one in the room with this guy. He had me and he knew it. So what? So you always said that if I'm in a knife fight and I'm losing to pick up a gun, Pierce Inspector Lit is a goddamn gun. Look, I know this isn't exactly what we wanted, but I could still be the one to insist on a mission of guilt. So what's really going on here? I promised Rachel that if this thing got too risky, I'd pull the plug. And it just got a hell of a lot riskier. Well, it also got real. Those miners need us. I'm not going to abandon them, so what do you want to do? What do you think I want to do? I want to kick this guy's ass. And here's the situation. I got 150 miners on board, and I can bust the NDAs, but I can't make the action a class because they already signed those rights away. I get it. He doesn't think we can get all those separate cases to court. Well, he's got another thing coming. I got 10 brand new associates upstairs begging to work on a case like this. You're going to oversee every single one of them if it takes all night. Then I have to meet you at your office in an hour. Something I need to take care of first. Good, you're still here. Box up the velocity files and meet me downstairs. Where are we going? Pierce Inspector agreed to partner on the case. That's big. One in? Hell yeah, give me 10 minutes. Hey. Yeah. You want to tell me what this is? That is an agreement to co-counsel, and I was just going to come tell you How about many times it. are you going to make a move without telling me? Nathan, I'm sorry, but I had to move fast. The guy at Velocity was putting the screws to me. Is something shady going on here, Mike? What? First, you bring in this huge case out of the blue. Then, all of a sudden, you bring in your old firm? You're the one who said we didn't have the resources to handle this sort of thing, so I just brought in someone who would. Yeah, but they're getting a sweet deal out of it, too. It's not like that. They're taking half their usual fee. That's all they're getting. What about you, Mike? What are you getting? What are you talking about? You're going to tell me you're not using this as a stepping stone to get back to your old firm? What? No, Nathan, I don't want to go back there. Bullshit. I don't believe you. Something is going on here, and I know it. You know what, Nathan? If your information 
Harvey Specter did offer me a consulting job, just like you did, except his had one more zero at the end of it, and I still turned him down. I chose to be here, but I don't want to be second-guessed at every turn, so either you're going to trust that my heart is in the right place or you're not. Well, for your information, Mike, right now I really don't have a choice. Otis Redding's first album? You sure Harvey won't mind if I take it out? Are you kidding me? No, he says if that collection's not for everyone, then what's the point of even having it here? Sounds like a great guy. The best. Gandhi, Harvey. You serious? Hand to God. Man's practically a saint. What's going on? Oliver, Harvey Specter. Harvey Specter, Oliver. Nice to meet you, Oliver. Would you like me to pour you a drink? Would you? No, I wouldn't. No. Put that down, get out of my office, and if I ever catch you touching one of my things again, I'll shove it up your ass. Is he serious? Well, I'm not about the ass part, but I'd, I'd put it back. You set me up. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Pierce Inspector Lit. <laughs> you enjoy that? Yeah, it felt okay. Good. Now, why don't you go make sure everyone knows exactly what they're doing? It's 9 p.m., the clock's ticking in. We gotta get this thing done. And what are you going to do? I'm going to figure out what we're going to say to that velocity son of a bitch when he walks in here tomorrow begging for a settlement. 